Okay, are you thinking about upgrading to Photoshop CC 2015.5? Not sure why it's not called 2016. From one of the Creative Cloud Photoshop CC 2014 or 2015. Well, if you do, you're going to have to reinstall your plugins or move them. Now, with the Nick collection, that's quite straightforward, but with the others, you do actually have to reinstall them. I'm using a Mac here, but I'm going to show you where this is done on Windows as well. And there's two ways of doing it. There's the version specific location, which is fine, but then what happens is when you upgrade in the future, it might not upgrade again and then you've got to do your plugins. There is also the shared creative cloud which location which if you do it into there kind of future proofs it. So I'm going to show you both. So I'm also going to show you what happens when you reinstall as well one of the other plugins that isn't like from the Nick collection and the Nick collection is free and actually very very popular. So Adobe have actually gone to help you out a little bit here. They've got two websites and here are the links. This one is actually uh, where you can actually uh, locate your plugins folders and move things and reinstall them. And this link is adobe.ly slash 280, that's a capital O, and it's B, capital B, B, K, G. So that's 28, capital O, not a zero, capital B, B, K, G. And it will take you to this site. There is another one because they've made it easy for you to find all those third-party plugins. If I go over here, this is adobe.ly slash 28 capital L capital N small V capital F small P and it will take you to this and all of them are here and you can just go and install them from there. You may need your purchasing details, things like that if you had to purchase it, but here they all are. So they've, they've actually made that easier and you can see this great list here. So what you'll see when you go to update is if you click on advanced options, there's an option to remove old versions. Now, I didn't do that. I hadn't seen it and I was upgrading from 2015 and my plugins folder was still there, but I don't know if that's the same for previous versions. So I would untick that. Um, and then what you can do is later go into your applications. And you can see there's an uninstaller specifically for that version so you can get some space back. You don't need to have the two versions on there once you've gone and moved your plugins. So let's just go and have a look at how to move the Nick collection. So I'm on the Mac here. I'm just going to go into my Finder and I'm already here. I'm in Applications. You can see my Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 folder with plugins and Google. Now what I can do is simply click and drag that or I can copy it. So I'm just going to click and drag it over to here and you can see there's plugins and I can just drop it in there. And that is all I need to do. I'm going to undo that because what I would like to do is let's just go back. I know that would be it for the Nick collection. It really is just that simple. I'm going to go to plugins again. I'm just going to, I'm just going to right click or hold down control and choose copy. I'm just going to go to my Macintosh hard drive. I'm going to go to my library, application support, and you'll see there's Adobe. And down here, you'll see down here there is plugins. Click on CC, and I just need to paste it in. You can see I've already done it, but I would just have to right click or hold control and then click and do paste item. Now, you may need to, I've already got it in there, but let's hit replace because it's going into the applications folder. You type in your password. And once that's done, you're good to go. Now on a Windows computer, what you need to do is the same thing. So if I'm doing it into Windows, what I need to do is go into my program files, Adobe, find my Photoshop version, choose the plugins, and copy it and then copy it into the new location. If it's going into the shared location, I need to go into program files, common files, Adobe plugin CC and paste it into there. And those are the two locations. I think it's a good idea to put it into this shared location for future use. So if you're installing it, you would need to put it into that location when it asks you for 
the location where it's storing. So I have got one ready to go here, which is this Exposure X bundle. I'm on a Mac, I'm just going to double click it and it will take me through the process of installing. So it's just quickly verifying it. Click on the open option because you want to run it and go through the process of setting up. So I'm just going to click on continue, agree it. I need it for just, well, let's put it into Lightroom as well. Let's just do those ones. Click continue, put in your password if it asks for it. and it has installed it. So as you can see, going over to my finder here, you can see that I'm in my library, I'm in my application support and in my plugins, and you can see now it automatically puts it into that shared location. So that's good because it's future-proofing your installs and it will do that both on the Mac and Windows. So on the Windows computer, just follow the installer just like I did here. If it does ask you for a location, put it into the Creative Cloud shared location. So that is how you install Photoshop CC 2015.5. All your other settings move across, but your plugins, you need to re reinstall them with the exception of the Nick collection, which you can just move across and just put that. I think best place to put it is into the shared Creative Cloud location. So thanks for watching. Go and enjoy all the great new features of Photoshop CC 2015.5.